power. Greetings friends! I have a terrible confession to make. So this burner that I made in the previous video, it looked very impressive. It worked, I could throttle it up, it would shoot fire, uh, but really the secret is it wasn't working the way it was supposed to. Uh, big blue flame, oh yeah, that's good. We're supposed to get big blue flame, but it was burning inside, inside the flame. Like the fire was starting like here, and you could even see that in the video. So this part was getting pretty hot nice and toasty and it was making all kinds of racket and you couldn't get the nice defined cone shapes so uh, how about we fix that? To remind you how this works the propane goes through here there's a hole drilled in this pipe very specifically pointed right down it passes by these holes sucks air in through them, mixes them in the tube and it's supposed to burn out here uh, and you might see these holes look slightly different from before you join me now next to a child's dry erase board here's the issue that doesn't dry erase for crap. You join me now next to a child's chalkboard. Here's the problem with the burner. Eh, we'll live. Here's the pipe, cross section of the pipe. I drilled holes in this, like this. Ugh, this really isn't gonna work. Anyway, this is what the cross section of the holes looks like. Fuel is jetting in that way through the little hole in this pipe, and air is getting sucked in through here. But it's coming in and getting all jumbled up in the middle. So it's mixing in and starting to burn back here, because it's all nice and mixed up. So oxygen atoms can find propane molecules and go nuts and start burning. What I've done is this. See, I eased out that transition. So now, air doesn't have to go straight in, it's gonna go like this. See, that's my idea. And if you cover this up here, what kind of shape is this? That's like a Venturi, isn't it? So I kind of Venturiized these holes in the hopes that it'll help clean up the airflow and uh, that, make it not burn in the pipe. You can see I did the inside holes as well. Uh, and that was an attempt to smooth out and improve airflow. Okay, let's see if that fixed it. I should probably mention at this point, don't play with fire. And in fact, you probably shouldn't be messing with propane at all. Uh, and if you do, especially don't do it inside a garage. That's why you can't see, but the garage door is actually open. So I have ventilation. Otherwise gas can build up and carbon monoxide and all that. Uh, it's just dark in here. I waited until it was nighttime because I wanted to have like light so I could see the fire. So, I mean, lack of light, whatever. You know what I mean. Slowly, oh, this needs to be open. Slowly open the regulator. There we go. Okay, you see the problem? It's burning inside the tubes there. That's not supposed to be lit up. Also, that's a very rich looking flame, a lot of yellow. So I'm gonna crank it up, see if I can get the flame pushed out. Awesome. It appears those hole changes made zero difference. Awesome, so that was pointless. And if you're wondering how I did that, I already returned that Dremel tool. The Dremel was borrowed. Here's how I did it. Drill bit. <laughs> Chips flying everywhere. Probably a bad idea since I've recently developed a habit of breaking drill bits, but it, it worked. Next plan. This is a little sleeve. One of the uh, things I read online by other people who had these burners said, once you get the flame out here, you get the flame pushed to the end, it will stay there. So I've developed this, I have an idea. Air and fuel are supposed to mix in there and develop a good ratio. And you can have the ratio, you know, certain amount of fuel to certain amount of air. You want enough air and enough fuel that all the oxygen in the air reacts with all the fuel. That gives you a neutral flame. If you have a little bit too much fuel, that's rich. A little bit too much air, that's lean. You really don't want lean because then there's more oxygen in the mix and that can really mess up your molten metal. So. We kind of want neutral, maybe air on the side of rich, if possible, but we really don't want it burning inside the tube at all. Possible this could give us a little bit of both. This is just cut from a piece of dryer vent, four inch aluminum dryer vent sheet. It's very thin, it's just temporary. Uh, if this works, I'll make probably one out of steel. This aluminum one might just melt on me. The idea here is if I cover up all the holes, 
Once they get it lit, there will be no air in the tube. The air, there, there won't be enough air to react with the fuel. It will have to blow the fuel out the end before it starts burning. So that's my idea. And then once it's going out here, I will uh, open it up and, you know, then we can adjust the ratio. So that's my plan. Flame is inside the pipe. So let's cover up the holes. I can still hear the flame inside the pipe. Maybe cover this up. Ah, there we go. Flames in the end. Perfect. Success. Now if we open up the holes, see? The yellow flame, yellow is rich. Oh, it's back in the pipe again. Let me if I crank it up. Um, there we go. Whoa, big flame. Okay, slowly. That's back in the pipe. Open. There, that's more of a neutral. Ah, dang it. Uh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Back to the drawing board. Why does it keep doing that? But what I'm going to do now is definitely not advisable. If you think this thing was temporary, imagine what this duct tape is. There, no, no air is getting in the back of there at all. All right, just as expected. All right, there, the flame is coming out the end and it's very rich. It doesn't get any oxygen until it comes out here. So that's where you're getting the nice yellow flame. Okay, one hole open, less rich. Another hole open. Oh, look at that. That looks much better. It's catching up to neutral, but still yellow, so it's still rich. Oh, and it's back in the pipe. Okay, okay. Oh, it's farther. Progress. Progress, progress. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. There we go. That's why I have this. If that suddenly goes out, turn off the gas instantly. Don't let any gas build up. All right, more. More air. Two. I'm just, I'm just going to crank the pressure a little bit. Maybe the pressure can keep blowing the air out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Still a little rich. Aha, check that out. Check it out. All the holes are uncovered. We're getting a nice neutral -er looking flame with cones in it. Let's see if I can crank it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Good, 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 good. This is exactly what's supposed to happen. Let's see how far down I can throttle it. Oh, only about that far. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, only one more time because it's fun. Still might be a bit rich, but you know what? That is such an improvement, I'm calling it a win. I just had an idea. See this? This isn't black pipe. Will it fit? Oh, it fits. I got an idea. Hang on. I've said this before in this very video. Please do not try this at home. Behold, the upwind forced air hybrid burner. This is going to be great, or terrible, or both. It can be two things. I feel like I need music for this. Are there, is there any epic music that's copyright free? I am definitely going to look for it. Okay, 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 okay. Let's start at normal. Okay, there we go. We're going, we're going. Okay, we're going, we're going. Come on, shoot out the end. I can't get it to convert. I can't get it to shoot out the end. Screw it, let her rip. Full power! Oh, it is! It's, in, it's pushed to the flare now. Full power and full... Oh, that's going rich. Turn back the fuel. All right, we're back to normal. Now we're going lean. Okay, enough of that. My aluminum thing didn't melt. Hooray! Well, that was pretty crazy. Suffice it to say, I won't be doing that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna run it normal. I was had it cranked up pretty high and I don't really need it to go through all of my propane quite that quickly. I think it just goes to prove I can take a very simple, effective design, build it poorly, then overcomplicate it to be awesomer. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.